been in here. Always. You shut your mouth, Batty. The Rock will come out there and slap the herpes off your lips. It's a side that you haven't seen The Rock, but it's been in here all along. And you know why you're seeing it tonight? Because it's The Rock and Roman Reigns. The biggest, the biggest WrestleMania main event in the history of WrestleMania. You had it in your hands and you let it go. You flushed it down the toilet. The same toilet you set your fat asses on and you sat there and tweeted, we want Cody, we want Cody, Cody's got to finish his story, he's got to finish his story. You're laughing now and you're booing because you know it's true. Let The Rock ask you a question. Let The Rock ask you a question. What is Cody's story? What is this story? Let The Rock make it clear. My cousin Roman Reigns, the Universal Champion, beat Cody's ass last year at WrestleMania. He beat him. Cody lost the match, and now all of a sudden, Cody wants a rematch? That's his story? That's not how it works. I mean, think about it. You think about it right now. Think about how stupid that logic is. Think if you can apply that to sports. Hold on a second. I know your inbreds want to chant what, but sit there and shut your mouth and listen to The Rock. Because this is important. And The Rock is going to educate your ignorant asses. Apply, apply that stupid logic to any sport. The 49ers just lost against the Kansas City Chiefs. What did they do? What did they do? Did the 49ers say, whoa, 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 wait a minute. What about our story? We gotta finish our story. No. They took their lunch like men, they stood up, they dusted themselves off, and they moved on like men. That's what they do. Now everybody in this arena, in this city, and in this entire state, you should understand this. It's personal. Think about it for a second. Michael Jordan came in here and he crushed the dreams of the Utah Jazz. He ended. You boo because it's the truth. He ended the Utah Dream story. What did the Utah, what did the Utah Jazz do? They took their beating like men and they moved on. And they worked their asses off to get right back to the top. That's what they did. That's not how the real world works. The real world doesn't work like that. You don't get a shot at another story just because you want it. That's not how it works. And you don't understand that. You don't understand that because you're spoiled, entitled, little crybaby bitches. <laughs> 